Good morning, everyone. Welcome on into North Dakota today. Things are about to get musical because the International Music Camp Summer School of Fine Arts is open, offering a wide array of cultural study for students and adults. Joining us this morning, we have IMC Camp Directors Tim and Christine Bauman with all the musical details. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Good morning, Ashlyn. Hi. So tell us all about the International Music Camp Summer School of Fine Arts. Um, well, IMC was started back in 1956 with only two programs, and this summer we have over 40 different programs you can choose from in the fine arts. Band, choir, and orchestra are three main ones, um, but we also have visual arts, dancing, drama, musical theater. There's a lot more than just music at the International Music Camp. All of our programs are designed to be one week in length. So families come in on Sunday, drop off their campers, and then, uh, you know, go do other things for the week. And then on Saturday, they come back up to the Peace Garden, pick up their camper, um, and just get to celebrate everything that they learned and all the friends that they made over the week. Yeah, so mentioning the Peace Garden, tell folks at home where you guys are located. We are literally on the border of North Dakota and Manitoba in the very middle of the state. Um, the Peace Garden is a beautiful place to go in the summer all year, but especially in the summer. And um, when you leave the Peace Garden, you turn left to go to Canada and right to go to the United States. So we're literally <laughs> on the border. I love that. What a great way to give directions to. <laughs> so what should people expect with the upcoming IMC season? This is a summer only kind of thing, huh? Absolutely. So we get started in the middle of June and we run through the end of July. They should expect that campers are going to make a lot of friends. They're going to be surrounded by people just like them. It really is a great place for those aspiring uh, musicians, artists, and you know kids who just are involved in music and the arts in their normal everyday life. This is a fabulous week for them. And uh, when they come to camp, they should expect that they're going to meet people from around the world because we'll have Americans from all the states. We'll have Canadians. We'll have folks from other countries. Um, it's just a great mix. Uh, place for for all sorts of young people. Yeah. So, what are the age ranges that parents should be aware of if their students are seemingly interested? Yeah, our youngest campers are 10 years old, so in fifth grade right now. Um, and then our oldest campers are usually 18, 19. Current high school seniors can still come to IMC this summer. So, so how long have you two been involved as camp directors? This is actually um, our 20th season at the wow. camp. Uh, we were in the dorms for eight years, and this is our 12th as camp directors. Yeah, we actually, uh, we met over the trash can in the dining hall uh, <laughs> as counselors. That that was kind of first meeting, and uh, we've been married for almost 15 years now, and, and we love getting to work with the International Music Camp. Well, you couldn't pick a better meet cue. That is so adorable. <laughs> so to see it grow even in your 20 seasons from however many programs you had mentioned up to 40, what has that been like? Um, it's pretty amazing to just see how an institution this old can stay relevant um, and current and feel fresh while still have some of those really awesome old traditions that have been there since day one, like the, the dance and game night on Tuesday nights and movie night. So it's... um. It's just a wonderful place with lots of warm fuzzies and um, yeah, it's awesome to be a part of it. It makes us really grateful too for um, all the work that everyone who's come before us has done. You know, we have over 142,000 alumni who have been to the camp. Um, there have been three other versions of camp directors before us um, and lots of staff and faculty who just give a lot uh, every summer to this place. So we're just incredibly grateful for that too. Wow, sounds like a staple in the community for sure. So tell us about the Free Festival of the Arts Concert Series. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so every Friday night uh, in the summer, we're going to be hosting um, a free event. Uh, we'll bring in professional performing artists from the region uh, to come in and perform for our campers, but it is also free and open to the public. So if anyone has uh, relatives or family members that happen to be up in the Turtle Mountains, um, you know, please come out and see it. It's 8 p.m. every Friday starting uh, June 21st First. Yeah. Um, through July. And uh, we we definitely want everyone to be able to join us in those great performances. I love it. So are there any other programs or workshops that you can share that will be taking place this summer? Yeah, yep. we have uh, two small, th I guess they're going to be three day long programs. Mm -hmm. uh, one is our old time fiddle and bluegrass workshop that's going to be happening in the beginning of June. And then uh, right at the end of May into the first weekend of June, we also host an indigenous cultural aesthetics program in partnership with um, several elders and friends in the, the Turtle Mountain um, uh, Chippewa tribe. Uh, we're very excited to be able to offer that for our second year again. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. So where can we go for more information? How do we get signed up and learn everything else we need to about IMC? 
Um, all the info is on our website at internationalmusiccamp.com. You can also give us a phone call. Um, we are here about 8.30 to 5 o'clock every single day. You can always leave a message and we'll get back to you. Um, but internationalmusiccamp.com has all the info. Thank you both so, so much. And congrats on your nice little camp love story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Ashlyn. <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Okay, everybody Thank at you. home, stick around. We have plenty coming up right here on North Dakota Today.